what? Hi guys, welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. I thought I would show you my baby chicks. They're coming out a little bit. I've got 10 that are about seven or eight weeks old. And um, we just thought we would introduce part two of the thrift flip challenge that I did. I went to Salvation Army and Goodwill. If you missed part one, I will have that link down below and up top, uh, just up above me here. And uh, you can check that out, right? Yeah, do you wanna go with your friends? Are you not happy? I know, I'm stressing you out. I don't wanna stress you out. Guys, come out here, it's nice. They'd rather, rather raise Cain inside. So, um, yeah, so we have the Thrift Flip Challenge. This is where I go to Salvation Army and Goodwill, and I pick things, and as I pick them, I show you how I bring them home and fix them up, flip them, upcycle them, repurpose them, however, whatever I'm gonna do with them. And then we go back to thrifting until I find the next item. One, so I'm pretty excited to show it to you. These came out fabulous. I absolutely love each and every one of them that I did. And I can't wait to show you what they look like. So let's get on with it, huh? Yeah? Can you just keep? Yeah. Let's get on with it. We'll show you what we did. Let's go. They don't want to be loved. I just want to love them. They don't want to be loved. I found these little desks at Salvation Army. So this is the last thing that I got there. I actually bought two of these. They were $6.99 and I just thought they were so cute and I had an idea for one of them. I don't for the second one yet. So we're going to just do the one today. So this is going to be my first project that I'm going to work on. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I was gonna clean it up and then decided that before I cleaned it, I would sand it. It was a little bit shiny and uh, I wanted to make sure that the paint would really stick well. I'm gonna use my DWIL black paint and I'm going to put two coats of that paint on here. I also painted the inside lip and the cover inside as well. I didn't do the very bottom of the desk part. I thought that would be nice to have that just the plain original stain that it was. So I left that. I did two coats all over on these sections as well. And then once it was dry, I went in with my sandpaper and I distressed the edges. Now I did this before I'm gonna do what I do for the top, which is a transfer, but I wanted to make sure that I got all the distressing where I wanted it before I put the transfer on so that it wouldn't hinder any of what I was doing. Here's the transfer. It is from Redesigned with Prima. It's called Prairie House and it's a transfer that you can put together or you can use separately because it's two pieces it's absolutely beautiful i love the colors in it i love the flowers in it and it even has like these antlers and and uh, things that are added in the bouquets they're just it's just a beautiful piece so when i pulled this out and i said i wonder if this will fit on this desk and it does and this is why I'm doing it. The back has, they put that backing in black so that you can see all the details. And I was like, I so want to do this and put it on something black. I think it will look so cool. So this is what I'm gonna do it on. And I just love it. So I got these transfers for something else, another project, but that isn't even done. I haven't even started on it. This is done, this is ready to go and it fits perfectly and I wanted it to the bottom to wrap around and go down over the lip of the desk and it actually does so um, I'm thrilled that I, I could pull it down a little bit and it actually wraps right around so 
Um, it just fits perfect. It was meant to be, I think. So I just uh, pulled the backing off, set it on there the way that I wanted it, and then I just began to use my little stick and rub the transfer on. It took me a while. Uh, this was a pretty big transfer, and it stuck pretty well, um, but there were some times when it just didn't want to go down, so I had to rub a little bit harder, but that's okay. It worked just fine, and here is the reveal. Look at that, how beautiful that, I get, that is against the black. I just, I'm getting all tongue-tied. I'm so excited. I just love it. So I am going to just burnish this, which means just rub it to make sure all the pieces are down and nothing's sticking up. And then I'm going to take my sandpaper and just sand very lightly over the transfer just to uh, distress it a little bit, dull it down just a little bit. I don't want the desk to look like it's distressed and not have a distressed looking transfer. That's just going to make it look like I threw a transfer on and I didn't do anything else to it. But I, so I distressed the whole thing just a little bit over the top. And now I'm taking my Fusion Clear Wax and I'm going to go over the whole box with that and then I will go back and wipe it back. Now that I have my box and transfer sealed with the clear wax, I'm gonna go back in with my antique wax. I decided uh, the where I had distressed the box and the original color had come through, I wanted to darken that up with the wax because it gives it a nice brown tone and I just love that. And I love this wax over the black anyway. I think it conditions that black and makes it look so nice and smooth. And I thought it would look good to maybe antique up the flowers just a little bit. It didn't really do a lot, a lot on those because they were already sealed, but it did give it a little bit more of an aged look, which I liked, like a little bit of a hue of an aged look. So here I was just showing you the difference, and I think it came out so pretty. I absolutely love it, and I hope you do too. Okay, we're officially down the road at Goodwill. Don't mind me. I had to ditch my sweatshirt. It is like 60 degrees. It is warm. This chick is hot. So anyway, <laughs> woo! I am going into Goodwill um, and going to do some shopping. So let's see what we can find. So I don't usually go in this section. If I do, I go quickly through here. This is like the very first section as you go into Goodwill and they have more uh, high-end, high-priced things in here. And this cat, I think it's a piggy bank, caught my eye as I was walking by the aisle and I had to turn down here and look at it because it is so stinking cute. He's just a fat little kitty cat. And I just thought he was so cute. And then next to it was this bag of like little porcelain or ceramic animals. There was little dogs and mostly dogs, I think. And then this Mexican uh, vase, I would say, was there. I thought this was beautiful. Uh, it was definitely way out of my price range, but it was probably worth like a million dollars. Who knows? I should probably Google search it and see if, you know, what comes up. But um, I really thought it was pretty and I like the shape of it. This was a cast iron like matchstick holder. And um, I just thought that was pretty interesting too. But that cat, 
It's just so cute. This bowl was really pretty. I'm, I'm assuming it was probably like a, a terrine, a soup terrine or something. Um, I just liked the green on it, the greenish yellow. So I had to check that out too. Now moving down, this little doll, she's a porcelain doll, was in the aisle for the toys. And I grabbed her because when I Google searched it, uh, it was kind of a cool thing for, I can't even remember what I paid for it, but it was hardly anything. And um, I mean, it was worth like $20, $30. Some, some places were selling them for like $300. $300, but I don't, you know, I don't look at that. But, um, you know, I'd have to do more research, but I definitely picked it up for what it cost me. I thought it was a great deal and I could make a little bit of money off it probably. So, um, just browsing around down these aisles, a lot of the, um, the electronics and, and games and things like that I don't usually care for, but sometimes people drop things. And so I like to go down the aisles just to see if maybe somebody decided they didn't want something and they put it in that aisle. Now this aisle is my favorite, of course, because it's the wood aisle and this is where you can find projects, which is where most of my projects came from. Uh, and this scoop was absolutely incredible. I love it. I just absolutely love it. And it came with three sets of pit berries, I think, and this really cool raffia bow for $4. I mean, get out of my way. Let me get to the register. I need to pay for this right now. So this is the second project, and we're going to do a quick little, little uh, updo on this guy, a little upcycle, but it's not going to be anything too drastic. So I took everything out to get a good look at what is in there and I can use all of these pieces whether I use them back in the scoop or not. Uh, but I decided that with the scoop I wanted to give it a little bit of like it had been painted black but then started to wear off and wear down to the wood. So I just took my paintbrush that I'd used for a previous project and just took the paint and brushed it on there. Now I didn't want to get full coverage. I just wanted it to uh, cover here and there and very lightly in spots, just kind of sporadic. And um, just I wanted to show a lot of the wood underneath that I could. So I went in and did the inside there just in case you'll be able to see that. And I also did the handle and gave it a nice thin coat of black paint. Now once I got it covered the way I wanted it, I let it dry and now I'm gonna go back with my uh, sandpaper and sand back what I got, like if I got too much paint in certain spots. I really want this to look like it's been around for a long time dinged up, aged, the paint has been worn off from, from use, and I didn't want the handle to have too much black on it because I wanted it to look like it had worn off. So um, I put the pit berries and stuff back in just so you could see. Before I thought it looked like it kind of blended in with the scoop, and now I think it pops really well. I'm going to show you a few different ways of how you can display it. So in this aisle, I don't have to go too far to find projects. There was some on every shelf. I really like this little stool, and usually when I make these over, they sell pretty well. So I was looking at it and thought that, yep, I could definitely do something with that. So in the cart it goes, and it's the next project. So first thing that I'm going to do is just nail in the nails. It's a little bit wobbly, as you can see here, and the little side pieces are they turn and they're not in there very well they're held in by one nail a piece you know on each side so i just took some nails and put one each on 
all the sides so that they're, they, you know, it would just be a little bit more stable because it felt like it was a little bit, um, a little bit tippy. And I don't think anybody's going to use this as a step stool, especially once I get done with it, but you never know, or even sit on it. I would hate to have somebody, you know, fall because it wasn't quite sturdy enough. So just putting in those nails. And then once that was done, I went in with my sandpaper and was sanding the the painting on the top. It's really cute, but it's very 80s. Nothing that I'm interested in. And what I'm going to put on top is I want don't want it to um, to come through. So we're going to just sand it down a little bit so that it's not the paint isn't raised. I'm going to paint over it so you're not going to be able to see. Uh, see it through that and then we're going to decoupage over it so you're really not going to be able to see it. I gave it a good clean. It had some pet hair and uh, dust all over it so I cleaned it really well and then I was going to show you my paint that I got. Now I think if you saw part one of this video of these videos you know that I bought three cans of the DWIL wood paint. I got um I had the cardamom green, which is the darker green there on the right. This is the Nile green, so I just purchased that one. And you can see the difference. The lighter green is the Nile green, and it's a beautiful, just a beautiful pastel-y color. I love it. So I'm going to use that on my step stool. Now this step stool is thirsty. This guy took three coats. I put it on and it like sucked it in the first two coats. The third coat finally sat and stayed and looked really good and fully covered. So I did have to do three coats on all that. I did uh, just, I did two coats on the top because again, it's going to be covered with decoupage paper. And you really, once the two coats were on, you couldn't see the picture. And that's all that I was really worried about. And I wanted to make sure there wasn't any bleed through. Sometimes you can get that with these older stained pieces. So I dug through my decoupage paper uh, stash and found this piece. I think it's a, a smaller piece from a larger piece, if that makes any sense. So I had used part of the rest of it and kept this to use on something else and I love the little bees I thought they looked so cute so I thought they would this would go great with that paint and I so I stuck it on there just a little bit of Mod Podge in the middle so that I could get it exactly where I wanted it I wanted to make sure I got all three bees and most of the flowers on the top of that stool and so I kind of tried to center it and then I went back and added Mod Podge to each side so that it was all stuck down really well. Now once I get it down, I like to use a baggie or saran wrap, plastic wrap, over the top of it and run my hand over it so that once it gets wet from the Mod Podge, uh, your hand or whatever you touch it with could rip it so the saran wrap or plastic bag helps your hand move over it smoothly smooth it out but not rip it unless you bear down on it really hard so it definitely is a nice having that barrier there once I let this dry I think I let it dry overnight and once I let it dry I came back with my sandpaper and sanded off the edges with a downward motion because if you go upward it rips the top and I also sanded the edges of my little stool so you could have stopped and left it the green if you wanted to if you don't want the the distressing I like to have the distressing plus I'm going to use some antique wax on this and so I want some of that wood that comes through to get that nice and catch that antique wax and darken up just a little bit so once I get everything sanded I did sand the top lightly and kind of dull that down just a little bit and I took my Mod Podge and went over the top of it to seal it in. Once the Mod Podge dried, I went over the whole stool with some 
of my antique wax. I just brushed it on with a brush and then wiped it back. I left the top for last because I didn't want it to be a full coat like I'm using here on the sides on the painted part. I wanted to lightly to uh, lightly distress it the top. So I'm going to save that part for last. <laughs> So on the top, I start on the outside edges and I go a little bit dark on the outside edges and then wipe it back and then work my way in little by little to make it look like a gradual effect of aging and distressing. So see here, I went around the edges and then wipe it back. You can see just a very light yellowing or browning around there. And then I'll just take my brush and go around the next kind of level and brush it in towards the inside. Now my brush has very little wax on it, just a little bit. It also has the Mod Podge layer on there, so that kind of helps so that it doesn't totally saturate your paper. You can kind of go and rub it back. so that was my haul at Goodwill so uh, $47 I rounded up I usually do so $47 for all that stuff I took one last walk through and I didn't get a video of it but I found uh, a big piece of furniture I guess you could say it would be kind of furniture so and I'll show you that when we get back I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it but I almost left it, but it was only $6, and I have another booth that I may be putting together at another place, another town. So I'm trying to get a few things together so that I can uh, fill it as soon as it opens. I believe it opens June 1st, so I'm trying to get stuff done and cleaned up and organized and <laughs> get as much stuff done as I can so that I can... Uh, get things in that booth when it opens so I'll have it nice and full. So I have three more projects that I picked up from the Goodwill that I haven't finished yet and I haven't shown you uh, doing them so I'm going to probably I was going to do a part three but I may just wait until I've got uh, the last thing thrifted collaboration coming up this coming Saturday the 20th maybe uh, and uh, so I think what I'm going to do is pull out a few of those projects and do for that video so I don't think I'll do a part three of this one shopping and but I may show that in the last thing thrifted uh, so you'll see the footage from that but um, these are just a few things that I picked up that I didn't really have to do anything to really uh the globe it was um a red sticker and i paid uh it was a half price with the red sticker so that's why i picked that up and i thought it would be a really pretty little cloche for something uh, maybe something with a light underneath because it had like an opaque look to it so i decided i would do something like that with it um and so we're going to end here i hope you guys liked my projects let me know as always down in the comments if you have a favorite and which one it is don't forget to like share and subscribe if you haven't already there's so much more that i have for you guys that i'm going to be doing you don't want to miss it it's going to be fun we're going to do new projects new techniques um, there's just all kinds of crazy stuff that we're going to be doing so you don't want to miss that
And if you can't wait for me to get a video out, check out this one on the screen. I know you're going to love it.